Welcome back, everybody, to the Alamo Dome. You see the Roadrunners on homecoming week coming out of the smoke, getting fired up for this one between them and the UAB Blazers. It's going to be a fun one here this afternoon. It's, it's an indoor game, so always around 72 degrees here in the Dome. Clear skies. It's going to be nice. Let's take a look at the comparison of the three receivers set. Handoff up the middle. Nice job there. Third and two for the runners from the 30-yard line. Shotgun, one back. Keeper up the middle for Souza. He breaks through the first level. Lots of different formations we'll see all day from the Roadrunners. Play action. Looks left. Fires. Hits a man over the middle. That's number 12, Holmes. He's got some space. Gets to the outside. I'm back in the backfield. Two receivers to either side of Souza. Hands it off up the middle. Gets to the left side. Has some space there. That's Glasgow. Calling an audible at the line of the scrimmage. Eye formation. Option right. Pitches it to the outside. He's got some space. Brandon Armstrong cuts upside. Touchdown, Roadrunners. One drive, one touchdown for the Roadrunners. Brandon Armstrong on that carry. Another San Antonio homegrown coach. What happened right there? Well executed. That's called a lead option. That's where the back just leads you around the end. So different from the dive option. Usually the dive, the back would dive, and the quarterback's out there by himself. Backman in motion. Brown drops back. Play action. Getting pressure. He'll be taken down in the backfield. Number 42. Jim. Offset eye for the Blazers. Brown, play action. Drops back, has some time, fires. And that one's picked up by number 22, Nick Johnson. He's going to get downfield. And the UTSA Roadrunners will have fantastic position as they get this next drive started off. And the homecoming crowd is definitely excited for that one. Coach, what you, happened there? You can see here, had plenty of time. He's looking for Jamari Staples. Jamari kind of backed off a little bit. He saw the two backs in the backfield here for Souza. Motion man, Jones. Up the middle, Glasgow. He's got some space. He'll get down inside the 10 yard line. Pistol formation. Hands the ball off to the left. That's Cam Jones diving his way into the end zone for a touchdown. We do have a flag on the play. I tell you, here you go. It's just a speed handoff. You see blocked by the two backs who are in the backfield. Excellent blocks, and Cam shows his athletic ability. He was not going to be denied. One back for Brown. Jailbreak, getting pressured. That's going to be a fumble. 52, and on that play. You fumble it because you can't fumble the ball forward. So two bullets in a row dodged by the Roadrunners. As Sosa drops back, finds a man over the middle. That's Cam Jones. Cam Jones, he'll get knocked down. But another shift from the wide receiver. Handoff to the up the middle. Glasgow gets the outside. He'll get a first down and some. Sosa drops back. Blitz coming. Fires to the corner of the end zone. Dropped. Number 92, Sean Iano, back to kick. That one is up, and it's good. So that'll make it for the Roadrunners. That one taken. That one popped. Picked up by number four, Adams, and he'll come in for the touchdown. <laughs> little, little Bo Jackson-esque running into the tunnel there. Man, they got a little mojo going today. So we can't just talk about the offense getting it done anymore. Special teams, defenders, everybody's getting into the first quarter. So pretty impressive there from the Roadrunners. Yes, sir. Brown turns, fires to the left. That one's caught, breaking tackles there once again. That's Jamari Staples. Second and seven here. Brown fires over the middle, has a man wide open. That's DeAndre Hannums, and he'll man line two tight ends. Brown under center. Play action drops back. Getting pressure. He'll be set. That was number 44, Stephen Kerfis on that play. Want to get something on the board right here just to try to change it. 50-yard field goal here for Ty Long. 
Long with the long kick that's up. And it's good. He wants it. Second and ten here. Fires over the middle. That one's caught. Great play there. Twins to the right. Hands the ball off up the middle to him. That's Okacha. He'll get a first down and some. Three receivers to the left now for Souza, along with the tight end. One man in the backfield. Turns, fires left, into the end zone. That's caught for a touchdown by Aaron Holmes. That was a beautiful pass. Aaron Holmes on the touchdown there from Souza, 17 yards. Let's take another look at it. Right here, just a play fake, and I mean places it perfectly on the outside. There was nothing short on it. Third and five here as that rowdy crowd stands up and starts making some noise. One thing I will say about this young program is the crowd gets into the game. Yes, sir. Looks like a busted play there to Reeves. He'll get to the outside and a first down. Third down and three, single back. Turns, hands the ball off, up the middle. Howard fights. Looks like he might get the first down there. Tight end split to the right. One back in the backfield. Perry drops back, fires right. That one's caught. He's got some space. Touchdown, UAB, Darren Reeves. He pulled the trigger, and that was a quick answer. You can see him just, just swing out of the backfield, and nobody's out there with him. Somebody has responded. Excuse me, that was number 75. No, 76. That's right. Souza on the option. Keeps it to the left. Has some space. Cuts up field. He's got some more room. He'll be brought down. Downfield, but not before getting into Blazer territory. Play. Here we go. That's a lead option. See the block right there? And he cuts back in and follows his offensive lineman. And that's an excellent play. Irvin off. So one back. More motion here for the Roadrunners. Option to the left. Fires that one to Armstrong. Armstrong has some space. Breaks a tackle. Gets the first down. And he'll get pulled down. Field. Fans in. Look at all the movement. Chef. That one. End around to Cam Jones. Cam Jones has some space. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Lots of shuffling, moving around. Cam Jones ends up with it. Man, man, they are whipping butt out here. Look at here. You got a block. You got a block for every man. Wide receiver clearing block right there also. Lots of big blocks. So take a look here at the, the king and queen. It's homecoming week. The king and queen on the field now saying hello to all their 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 people their subjects all their subjects you know getting the getting that kind of cupped as we hear that rowdy UTSA Alma crowd get going that one handed off up the middle to Howard he's got a first down and some he's got some space down the left side he'll be brought down eventually now motioning the running back Reeves out of the backfield Perry drops back, looks over the middle, fires, finds, and that looks like it's going to be called an it interception. An there by number four, Crosby Adams, who's been Johnny on the spot all day long. His best Bo Jackson impression, and now off the tip, picks off a ball. You can see him threw off his back leg. Souza in the shotgun. Okacha to his left. Play action. Drops back, has some time, fires over the middle, has bias wide open. He's got some space. Two men to beat, he'll be brought down inside the 10-yard line. What a huge play there from Kenny Bayer. Getting a shift in the offense. Well, there were a couple times they didn't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> hands the ball off up the middle to Okacha. Okacha fights his way into the end zone for another touchdown. UTSA starting off where they left off. That was just a power play. You had the guard come around and the fullback lead up and just 
popped a crease in there. Power running from the UTSA Roadrunners. That's a touchdown from Okacha, 10 yards. Straight line to the end zone. He didn't have to cut left or right. You can see the guard lead him up the hole. In favor of Jonathan Perry, the quarterback in right now. He drops back, has some time, fires left, has a man open, that's Reeves. Looks like he's gonna be brought down. Looks like it's gonna be close to a first down. I what think they're going to give it to him. That is going to be a first down. What a catch by Reeves. You can just see it here. That's a hard catch over his head. One hand catch and able to control it and get just enough yard. One hand, left hand, control it, trap it with the second, and it. For the Blazers from the 37 yard line. Play action. Perry steps up in the pocket, has some space. He's got some speed. He breaks out. He gets a first down and some pass. That ball pops out. That one's picked up by Bennett Okacha. He's got some blockers downfield. And he'll find his way down to the 25-yard line. What a play there by Bennett Okacha. Sure they're going to look at this, too, to make sure that he was down. Again, those DBs, that is great. Just before he goes down, they try to rip at the ball. I mean, he's got a good play. Now you've got to protect the ball. You can see DB gets the crawl, pulls it out. That's a real close one. His butt might have been down. And third and six here. Perry in the shotgun. Looks left. He's going to scramble. He's got some space. He gets the first down. Spins, holds on to the football. Second and ten here for the Blazers. Play action. Perry. Fires. Oh, Finds man. his receiver, Reeves. He's got some space. He'll get down inside the five-yard line. And after a big collision, Howard in the backfield. They turn, hand the ball off to him, and that's a touchdown. What a great push that UAB offensive line had. They blew that UTSA defensive line about three yards back into the end zone. Yes, sir. He was in the end zone before anybody even made contact with him. You can see him right here, the double down, lead with the fullback, and I mean, boy, some hitting in there. One back to the right of Souza. Sends a man in motion. Play action. Looks left. Rolls to his left. Fires downfield. Has a man deep, and he's in and out of his hands. Two receivers to both sides. Now three receivers to the left. Play action. Little screen over the middle to Cam Jones. He's got some space. Looks like he will he's get the first down on that one. Two receivers to either side for Souza. One back. He drops back. Looking up the middle. He finds somebody that's Armstrong. Makes the catch. He'll get downfield. One man to beat. Touchdown. Brandon Armstrong. Did I say they're going to keep it wide open? That's when you're at your best. You got it going. You do not take your foot off the pedal. Take another look at this one. Souza saw Armstrong the entire way. And then it's just speed, speed, speed. Their offense for next week. We'll see. Perry drops back, steps up, has some space. He gets the first down and some, and he gets met there by Adams, Crosby Adams. Perry, six foot two, 218 pounds, going to get up against Adams, who's 5'9", 185. And we'll see another catch there, this yep, time by there Nelson is. for the touchdown. That's the all-purpose man. They finally get the ball to him. You've got to get this man vertical. Get him up the field and at least give him an opportunity. And that's the first time we've seen it all day. And they got him in space twice here on this drive. The last and that's what they're showing here so far. That intensity has not let up on the field. Reeves up the oh. middle once again, and he'll get a touchdown there. 18-yard touchdown for Darren. You have a defensive ball, but you never want anybody to score on you. Nice job there by Reeves. The final score here from the Alamo Dome, 52 to 31. Roadrunners take this one over the Blazers. It's their second conference win of the season.
And really, as we were talking about it uh, in between the breaks, this was a this was a complete game put on by the defense. Defense. Uh, they did what they had to join Joe Moore and Tiffany Ricardo. Steve Post and Woody Kane have weekly updates from Charlotte.